So let's assume an horizontal Y of length L in an homogeneous reservoir, so uniform cage throughout and one layer. So again, near the world bore, intuitively, you might imagine a flow regime. That flow regime now will be in the plane normal to the world direction. Okay. And that will be the vertical plane. So near the world bore, small delta t, now we should expect a vertical radial flow regime. Okay, so that means a stabilization on the derivative. And by analogy with vertical wall, now this stabilization is not indicative of KH, but is indicative of the average permeability in this vertical plane, which is square root of KV KH. But now since this radial flow regime is developed across the length of the wall, it's not H, but it's L now. Okay, so that's by analogy with vertical wall. Further away from this wall, we will have an intermediate flow regime. And for the ideal case, that will be a linear flow regime, and it will be represented by alpha slope straight line. And at large distance, so large delta t on the plot, this will act as a sink. So at large distance, what you'll see is horizontal radio flow regime across the entire net reservoir thickness. Or if you like this one, yeah. with your horizontal wall here. That is represented by stabilization, and this stabilization is indicative of cage. In fact, whatever wall, whatever wall deviation, wall completion, at a certain distance in the reservoir, this will act as a sink, and it will be equivalent to vertical wall. You should expect to see this horizontal radio flow regime, okay, like this one, that would be across the entire net reservoir thickness. Right, so we see this stabilization is lower than this one. And the condition for that is that these parameters are higher than this one. Okay, let me draw here. So that means that KV needs to be larger than KH. Okay, we need to have and then this, or that our length is larger than the net reservoir thickness, like this, okay? To get this stabilization lower than this one. But then sometimes for a particular well or reservoir, that may not be the case. You know, if you've got, for example, very small horizontal length, because of completion or because this section is not producing, let's say, due to plug or something like this. Now this stabilization may be higher than this one. What you may end up with is stabilization like this. And then what you should expect to see is a decline in the derivative trend. This decline means that we've got 3D flow, three-dimensional flow towards the well. And if we've got a very small section of the well producing, then intuitively you can imagine this 3D flow or spherical flow in the reservoir towards this towards this uh, very small section. As for the matching process, well, the first thing you need to match is this horizontal radial flow region. This is going to give you the horizontal permeability cage or K. This intermediate flow region is going to give you the length of the one. And now matching this first stabilization or the vertical radial flow regime, if you like. Now you've got the length and you've got K, so it's going to give you KV. Okay, let's have a look at uh, some examples of horizontal wall. So here I've shown you the sort of two extreme. This is looking at the sort of ideal horizontal wall with a vertical radial flow regime, linear flow, and horizontal radial flow regime. On some occasions, this hump here might mask this early time stabilization. So on some occasions, well bore storage and skin might mask this early time stabilization. And this is because in horizontal well, well bore storage is quite large. The volume of the horizontal well should be larger than the one of um, a vertical well. So if this is masked, then we will have some uncertainty on the vertical permeability. This is another extreme, a not very good sign, as you see this declining trend in the derivative. In fact, when you look at this derivative plot, you only see this declining trend. 
You, know, you don't see any early time stabilization and you don't see any late time stabilization. So horizontal radio flow regime is not there. Okay, this late time stabilization is not there. You don't have the permeability. So that means you cannot have the length of the wall and you cannot have KV here. You don't see this first early time radio flow regime. And this is because, as we said for this case, um, the wall bore storage and skin mask this early time radio flow regime. This declining trend might be due to a small horizontal length or a small KV, a small vertical permeability. And we don't see the horizontal radio flow regime. The test is too short. We also see this sort of straight lines here. That probably means that we've got an issue with data quality and with the gauge. Is that test useless? Well, we could still try to reduce the range of possible values with some different well testing techniques. But uh, yes, it's, this test is a bit limited.